Hey guys, Jagus here. This is Jagus Reviews. All right, so I've had a few people ask me to do the Zealot S79 versus the W King X20. So the Zealot is about a hundred bucks on Amazon. The W King is about two hundred and forty right now with the coupon. You're looking at about a hundred watts. I think they say for the Zealot and 200, 250 max for the W King. So quite a big difference in watts, quite a big difference in price, and quite a big difference in size. But size doesn't necessarily always mean better. Although the W King has the crown, has been wearing the crown with the X20 at least against my speakers for the most part. It's a good speaker, well worth the money. The Zealot I've had a great time with. It's also a good speaker, especially for a smaller form factor. I'm going to put that up against the x Dobo as well. Since they're kind of smaller, you can stick them in your backpack. Similar wattage, uh, similar price. But let's go ahead and start these off about 50%. Let me get to a song real quick. Starting with the X20. X20. Both are sounding good. Let's bump it up a bit. Try some R&B, still on the X20. Zealot. Let's bump it up. 80%.
next 20. I'm going to stop it there. I think that gives us a good idea of how well the Zealot S79 holds up against the W King X20. So at about 100% volume for the Zealot is about 75% volume with the W King, which is actually pretty dang good because the W King is quite loud. So the Zealot does get decently loud. It's got pretty good bass. The Zealot's actually pretty, pretty clear. It's got a nice treble, not quite as sparkly of highs as the W King X20 has, but it's got a well-rounded sound signature with good bass and it's it reaches low to a degree for the size of speaker that it is. I bet it's hitting down to around 40 hertz, which is very impressive for its size. And the W King is definitely reaching lower. It's got a more robust, full, warm bass that it's able to produce. And the instrument separation on the W King is definitely better due to its design of having the tweeters, the mid-range, and the subwoofer all separate. The Zealot only has two tweeters and two 3-inch full-range drivers, 3.1-inch, so it does good for what it is. I do like my Zealot a lot. I think for the volume, I'm I'm definitely giving the crown to the W King on this one. But the Zealot holds its own pretty dang good and actually, you know, doesn't really distort or anything on 100% volume. I don't use the bass boost mode on the Zealot because it can distort. The other two modes work beautifully on it. And I think it sounds rather good. So definitely a good little buy. Maybe two Zealots versus one W King would be a more appropriate match. I think the wattage would be a little bit better. And 
it would have a little bit more of a chance, but not bad little speaker battle, not bad at all. And thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot.